All right guys, bringing you more Starfield content. Right now I've got the ROG Ally with Starfield loaded up, playing on very hard difficulty. We've got dynamic resolution scaling on, low presets, V-Sync on, FSR2 on, VRS on, that's variable rate shading. I am running turbo mode, 30 watt, because it's plugged in. I'll go ahead and turn on the real time monitor. You can see that 7840U is cooking right now, it's at 88 degrees. And for noise level, the fan's running pretty hard right now. Right here, it's about 50, about 50 decibels. So the game just froze out, it's not good. So it ended up freezing a few more times and I looked online and found there was a graphics driver update that was released with Starfield on the 31st of August. We're gonna go here, go to latest ROG Ally drivers. And under here, we're gonna select Windows 11. And there's a new driver released yesterday, I think, along with Starfield. Yep, right here. Added support for Bethesda Starfield. So, looks like we'll need that. So if you're trying to boot up Starfield on your ROG Ally, and you're experiencing poor performance or constant crashes, make sure that you go ahead and install the new graphics driver update from the official ASUS website and you should be good to go. Monitor on here. Running at 40 FPS. Really clean actually. Wow, this is nice. It's very cool. How do you, um, there we go. Wow, this is really nice. So the CPU is getting very hot. I'm gonna go ahead and unplug it because it's pulling about 43 watts on the higher end. And when it's unplugged, I think the performance should drop a bit when it can't really overdrive that wattage. Yeah, it dropped a good bit. But it still feels really smooth on um, on battery. A few FPS drop, but uh, nothing too terrible here. So I'll try flying.
out here getting around 47 FPS or so. So I have been playing on mouse and key, so this is good taking a little getting used to. So this is taking a little getting used to. But I can see advantages to using mouse and key and then controllers sometimes as well, so I don't know which one I prefer actually right now for this game. Yeah, so when I plug in it's actually pulling around 50 watts, almost 50 watts on the peak end and very close to 60 FPS here, very close. Where is my quest menu? Ah, oh, right here, missions. Grab, jump to Jemison, alright? So I gotta find Jemison. out here set the course hit the grab jump cool So that was space travel, plugged in and unplugged. Man, it looks really good, I gotta say. Even on low settings, because the screen is so small. Even though it's 1080 because the pixel density is so high on a screen this size, it looks amazing. So here I'm in the 30s. A lot more going on here. Customize this, huh? Holy, I can spend some time on this. I'm sure you can find something.
Gladius, this thing looks cool. Responder. Econo Hall. What the hell? Shield Breaker? Whoa, this one looks cool. Hold up, how much? Oh, I have 4,000 either way. Alright, that's too much. What did you say I could sell things? Alright, thanks dude. Do I weigh now? I'm still 185. How? Just sold a bunch of shit. It's the weapons, maybe? It's still draining the battery while it's plugged in. Wow. Oh, it wasn't plugged in fully there. Okay, that's fine. So around the 40s when I plug it in, with around 40 watts. When it drops down to 30 watts, I am closer to the 30s for frames. So hope that was helpful guys, see you in the next one.